Hey everybody, it's March favorites time and I'm so excited that it's the end of March because I am on spring break. I've just been looking forward to this for like the last couple of weeks. I'm so excited. Um, it's not really that I'm like tired of teaching or tired of my students or anything, but the schedule just sometimes gets to me like I need a few days to sleep in besides just the weekend and you know, your schedule never changes when you're a teacher. Like you're always up early. You're always off pretty much at the same time. Even when we have early days, the teachers still stay, just the kids go home early. So it's nice just to be able to like get things done in the middle of the day, do videos, you know, do things on my own schedule. So I'm excited and I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been using during March and most of them are beauty related. Um, yeah, beauty and hair, that's about it. But you know, that's fun. So the first thing is this Mary Adesso Tinted Moisturizer. And I've been using this most days this month. Um, I got a sample in my birch box and then I went ahead and got the full size. And so it's a tinted moisturizer. I like the packaging. It took a really long time to get the initial product out, but you just squirt it on your hand. And it's a day cream, a night cream, an eye cream, a primer if you want to use something else on top of it. And if you want to do like any significant makeup, you do have to put either like powder on top or even you can put another foundation on top. Um, you can just use this by, your, by itself though. I've done that quite a few days this month actually. But if you try and do like a blush or bronzer or something on top, it doesn't really stay. So you can either just do this by itself for like a really no makeup look or you know just use it as a primer. And I used it as a primer today actually. I really like it. Um, the next thing I've been using is this Benefit Big Beautiful Eyes palette. Just put it in the corner here. And one thing I really like about this is that it doesn't give me too many options in the morning. Sometimes I'll open a big palette and get like distracted. Let's see if I can do this here without dropping on the brush. Okay. So this is a concealer. So you can, you know, go ahead and use, it's like the Boing concealer, I think. And then you have like a light pink shade, a taupey purple, and then a brown. And so I don't really need anything besides that for the daytime. You know, I can just do the pink. Um, I use the purpley shade in the crease and then the brown for um, just kind of in the corners and even like as an eyeliner. And so this is plenty for the daytime and I think it makes your eyes look really pretty and it's natural and subtle and good for work. Um, the next thing is also kind of natural and subtle. It's this cargo blush. Got this at Kohl's. Um, a little bit annoying to open but once you get it open it's good okay there we go so this is the shade um, I have Los Cabos and it's just like a peachy pinky it's got some orange in it just kind of a natural shade and I love it I think it just wakes up your face just makes you look more alive in the morning even if you're not doing much makeup I think this is the perfect thing to add and it doesn't really look like blush it's not pinky and obnoxious it's just something really Kind of neutral and natural and I just love it. I've been using this pretty much every single day. Love it. Um, another thing that's just kind of natural and pinky and peachy is this Burt's Bees Shimmer Lip Shimmer. Yeah. And I just got this at like the grocery store when I was getting some food. And um, it's in the shade Peony and I've just been using this like with that kind of pinky eyeshadow and then the pinky blush and it I think it all goes together really well. It's just a natural springtime fresh look and this tops it off perfectly. It's just so nice. It makes your, your lips feel really good. Um, okay, while I'm at it, gosh, this is like every single thing I wear every day, but it's all kind of new for spring and I'm loving them all. So this is the NYX Tame and Frame. It's like a brow gel, brow wax. I think this is like $2 or $3. I think I got it at Ulta, but you can get it at Target. It depends on your Target, like how wide their NYX selection is. Some have more than others, so I don't know. I think you could get this at some targets. Um, I've barely used any, but I've been using it all month. I used it today, and I just use it with like a cheap little eyeliner brush that I have that's actually not that great for eyeliner, but it's good for eyebrows. And so I just kind of line, like outline where I want them to be and then fill them in a little bit. And I have the shade Espresso, and I'm loving this. It's great and nice and cheap. Um, okay, two more things and then one more big thing. Um, this is the nail polish that I'm wearing right now. This is Orly Frolic and I just think it's a fun shade. It's very bright. I haven't really been wearing such bright shades, but you know, it's spring and we're getting into those fun summer months. So I think this is a good like springtime, summertime shade. You could do a little glitter with it or something. I haven't, but 
I like it. I always get compliments on this kind of bright fuchsia purple nail polish. Another thing that I picked up, I don't really know where you can get these. I got them at like a boutique in my town, but it's Mia. Mia Craft is the um, designer, I guess. But it's just these little teeny studs that are kind of like a stone with gold around the edges. And I just think this is so nice. This Actually, this like mint green color has been perfect with so many different outfits this month. Um, and then the white has been a nice color. Like if, if I'm trying to, if I'm got like a lot going on and I just want something that's kind of neutral on my ears and then this pink is so nice too but especially this mint color I think if you don't have a pair of just mint studs you should grab some and they are more versatile than you would think actually with just like jeans and a black shirt I think these stand out and are really nice and I think they just kind of complement my skin tone and they're really nice the last thing that I have to show you is this curling iron, which I think I showed in a haul of oh, the, I got the, yeah, okay, the string, what is that called, the cord? Um, okay, so this is the Hot Tools, it's like the rainbow gold edition, and this is so nice. I used it today, like, I hadn't really been blowing out my hair very often, I've just been letting it go curly, but ever since I got this, it makes it so much easier to... Um, kind of add some volume back into my hair after I blow dry it and just kind of give like a natural But wavy look and this is like a one and a quarter inch barrel. I think and I love it I think it's still a little bit hot. Yeah, a little bit because I did use it today um, But it works great. It heats up really quickly. Um, it's so smooth on your hair. It doesn't snag um, My curls last for a long time and it's not like obnoxiously skinny like spiral curls I think this just is like the perfect hair tool for me so I'm so glad that I bought this and it was on sale at Ulta actually on Ulta.com so I'm excited that I got that so anyway this is such a great day because it's spring break and I'm hoping to make more videos over spring break although tomorrow I'm leaving for Washington DC and I'm so excited I can't wait I'm gonna stay with my old roommate and I'm going to the Library of Congress to do a bunch of research for my thesis and so for me, that's just the ultimate, like, nerdy, wonderful spring break. But I'll be back, like, midway through the week, and then I'll have a few days still to just kind of hang out and maybe make some more videos. So let me know if you've tried any of these products and you like them as well, or maybe there's something else you like better. Let me know what you've been using this March. And if you're on spring break, life is good. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.